a function phi from a group G to a group H is called a group homomorphism if phi of x plus y is equal to phi of x plus phi of y, where plus g is the operation on the group g and plus h is the operation on the group h. And this here has to be true for all elements x and y in the group G. Our task is now to find all group homomorphisms from the residue class group set K to the residue class group set M, where K and M are natural numbers. So this here is the residue class group set K and this here is the residue class set M and we are looking for all group homomorphisms phi from this group to this group here. The residue class group set K is defined the following way. You can also write it this way here and it is defined as the set of all elements or sets A plus K times set where A is an element of the integers. And this set here is equal to that set here. So 0 plus k times set, 1 plus k times set, 2k minus 1 plus k times set. That means that the residue class group set k has exactly k elements. The operation plus, so this operation here on the residue class group set k, is defined the following way. So A plus K times set plus B plus K times set is equal to A plus B plus K times set. So this is the way how you define um, the operation plus on the residue class group set K. So when I was in university, I learned that you can use the theorem on homomorphisms together with, with Lagrange's theorem to find all the homomorphisms from set K to set M. But well, I haven't liked this approach too much, so I tried to find an easier way to solve such tasks. I found a simple condition you can check to find all group homomorphisms from set K to set M. And you don't have to use any theorems at all. So I will show you this condition now. So the group homomorphisms phi from set K to set M are given by phi of x plus k times set is equal to b times x plus m times set, where b can be a number from zero to m minus 1 and it has to fulfill the following condition. b times k has to be 0 modulo m or in other words m has to divide b times k. So one more time the homomorphisms phi from set k to set m are given by this here and B has to be chosen in a way that M divides B times K. So I've written down again what you have to do to find every homomorphism from set K to set M. So the general approach to find these phi's from set K to set M is the following. So the first thing you have to do, you have to check for every B from 0 to m min minus 1 if m divides b times k and k is this number here. If this is the case, so if m divides b times k, write the number b down. The second thing you have to do is to write down these functions here. So phi of x plus k times z is equal to b times x plus m 
times z, where b are the numbers you have found in 1. And these functions phi you have just written down by using the numbers from 1, so the numbers b from 1, are the homomorphisms you were looking for. Now let's take a look at some examples so you can see how this approach works. So the first example is we want to find all group homomorphisms from set 2 to set 4. So we already know how these group homomorphisms have to look like. So phi of x plus 2 times z has to be equal to b times x plus 4 times z, where b has to, has to fulfill the following condition. 2 times b has to be equal 0 modulo 4, which is equal to that 4 has to divide 2 times b. So this condition here is this here. Now we have to check every b from 0 to 3 if it fulfills this condition here. This we have done here. So we started with b is equal to 0, then 2 times b is equal to 0, 2, and 4 divides 0. So b is equal to 0 fulfills this condition here. The next number is b is equal to 1. 2 times b is equal to 2, and 4 doesn't divide 2. So b is equal to 1 doesn't fulfill this condition here. The next number is b is equal to 2. 2 times b is equal to 4, and 4 divides 4. So b is equal to 2 fulfills this condition here. The next number is b is equal to 3. 2 times b is equal to 6, and 4 doesn't divide 6, so the condition is not fulfilled. Now we can write down all the homomorphisms from set 2 to set 4. So the two numbers b that fulfill this condition here are b is equal to 0 and b is equal to 2. So the two homomorphisms we get from this are phi is equal to 0 plus 4 times z and phi is equal to 2 times x plus 4 times z. And these are all the homomorphisms from set 2 to set 4. Now let's take a look at the second example. So in the second example we want to find all the group homomorphisms from set 4 to set 6. So they look like this here with um, and b has to fulfill 4 times b is equal to 0 mod 6 or 6 has to divide 4 times b. So we have to check every b from 0 to 5 and remember these numbers b that fulfill this condition here. So we started with b is equal to 0 again and check this condition for um, for b is equal to 0 to b is equal to 5. And we also found out that the only numbers that this condition holds true for are b is equal to 0 and b is equal to 3 because 6 divides 12 and 6 divides 0. For every other numbers, for b the condition doesn't hold true. So for the homomorphisms we then get phi is equal to 0 plus 6 times z and phi is equal to 3 times x plus 6 times z because b is equal to 0 and b is equal to 3 fulfill this condition here. The other numbers do not fulfill this condition. And so we have found every homomorphism from set 4 to set 6. 
the homomorphisms are given by these two functions here. Let's take a look at one last example. So the third example, or in the third example, we want to find every a group homomorphism from set 5 to set 3. So the group homomorphisms look like this here, where b has to fulfill the following. 5b is equal to 0 modulo 3, or 3 has to divide 5 times b. So again, we have to check every b from 0 to 2, um, and remember these numbers b that fulfill this condition here. So we started with b is equal to 0, then 5b is equal to 0, 2, and 3 divides 0. Then we checked b is equal to 1, 5b is equal to 5, and 3 doesn't divide 5. b is equal to 2, we get 5b is equal to 10, and 3 doesn't divide 10. So the only number b that fulfills this condition here is the number b is equal to 0. So we immediately, immediately get that phi is equal to 0 plus 3 times set is the only homomorphism from set 5 to set 3. So let's take a look at the summary of the main approach again. So to find every group homomorphism from set k to set m, um, you have to do the following. The first thing you have to do is to check for, for every b from 0 to m minus 1 if m divides b times k, where k is this number here. If you have found a number b uh, for which m divides b times k, write down this number b. The second thing you have to do is to write down the group homomorphisms from set k to set m. They look like this here, where b are the numbers you have found in 1. I hope this video will help you to find the group homomorphisms phi from set k to set m quicker. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your attention.